Hi, I am Chuck. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will import Kali Linux VM into VirtualBox and Mac OS using an OVA file. This is one of many ways of installing Kali Linux VM. If you don't want to use OVA file, you can use ISO image to install Kali Linux VM. Whether you use OVA or ISO file for the installation, the end result is the same. I have another video where I demonstrated how to install Kali Linux VM using ISO file. I'll add the link to the description section. It takes less time to install Kali Linux VM using OVA file than with ISO file. Kali Linux comes preloaded with many security tools for pen testing and digital forensics. We will use Kali Linux VM to carry out some hacking demos in some other videos. The minimum system requirements and the other items we need for the installation are 2 gig of RAM on the host machine, at least 20 gig of disk space. The host machine, that's the MacBook I'm using for this demo. The virtual box and Kali Linux OVA file. We need to have installed virtual box in order to install Kali Linux VM. There is another video for installation of virtual box. I'll add the link to the description section below in case you haven't installed VirtualBox. So let's proceed. Before we dive in, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Also press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. Let's get started. You can pull up any browser of your choice. I will pull up Safari. On Google, search for Kali Linux. The first link on the list should be the official website of Kali Linux, but make sure that the root domain is kali.org, as you can see here. Click on the link. Then click on the download link to go to the download page. There are two options here, bare metal and virtual machines. Click on virtual machines. I'm using a 64-bit machine, so let's stick with 64-bit tab. I will scroll down a little bit and click on the download icon on this VirtualBox section to download VirtualBox OVA file. The download is ongoing so let's wait for it to complete. The download is now complete so I will minimize the browser and launch VirtualBox. As you can see on the left, I have an existing Kali Linux VM but we are going to import another one. In your own virtual box, you may not see anything on this left. To import another Kali Linux VM, I will click on the two on the top left corner here, and then click on Import button. On the Appliance Import page, go to File section and click on the File icon. Navigate to the folder where you have the OVA file. For me, it's in my download folder, and I will double click on the OVA file. I will hit the continue button. On this page, you can click on any field of your choice and modify the value. For example, I can double click on the name value and modify the name. I will leave the rest of the fields with their default values and click on import. On this window, I will agree to the terms and conditions of the software license agreement. Let's wait for the import to complete. Our Kali Linux VM is now created. Let's start it. Make sure the newly created Kali Linux VM is selected on the left here. And click on the start button up here to start the VM. I will drag the window to the middle and close these banners. At this point, we need to log in. The default username is Kali and the default password is Kali, all lowercase. Let's log in. Username is Kali, password is Kali, 
and I'll click login. To expand the window, you can go to view menu and select full screen mode and click on the switch button. The installation looks good. If you click on the Kali menu up here, you will see a lot of pen testing and digital forensic tools that are pre-installed on the system. You can see information gathering tools, vulnerability analysis tools, you can see MMAP, NITCO, and so on. There are web application analysis tools, database assessment, password attacks, you can see John the Rip on the list, wireless attacks, reverse engineering, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing tools, you can see Wireshark on the list, post exploitation, forensic tools, reporting tools, and so on. Let's do basic checks to make sure the VM is properly connected to the network. I will pull up terminal. I will enter the password, Kali. I will zoom in a little bit and I will expand the window. Let's verify the IP address acquired by the Kali Linux VM. The VM acquired private IP address 10.0.2.15. The IP address of the host machine is 192.168.2.24. Let's make sure we can ping it. This looks good. I'm going to stop the pinging. Let's also verify we can reach the internet. I will ping youtube.com. This looks good. I will stop the pinging. The Kali Linux VM is now ready for use. We will do some pen testing demos in some of our subsequent videos. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.